What's going on everybody? I'm Harrison Taylor and this is Hammond Stadium. Let's head inside. Welcome to another episode of Concession Critics Slice of Spring from Hammond Stadium, the spring training home of the Minnesota Twins. Located in the CenturyLink Sports Complex in Fort Myers, Florida, the stadium has a capacity of 9,300 fans and broke ground on May 15, 1989. The field was built because the Twins needed to leave the aging Tinker Field in Orlando that was built in 1914. The cost to construct the new venue was $14 million. The stadium opened as the Lee County Sports Complex on March 7, 1991. The main stadium was renamed Bill Hammond Stadium late in the 1994 spring training season in honor of the deputy county manager who was instrumental in getting the complex built for the Twins. The stadium underwent a $48.5 million renovation in 2014 and 2015. The concourse was expanded to 360 degrees. The stadium also added additional seating, new outfield bars, and more. Hammond Stadium is also home to the twin single A, Florida State League affiliate, the Fort Myers Mighty Muscles, as well as the Twins Gulf Coast League team. The Twins lease of the ballpark lasts until 2044. Now let's cruise the concourse. When you first arrive to the CenturyLink Sports Complex, you take a tram to the front of Hammond Stadium. The exterior of the stadium is based off of Churchill Downs and features a large fountain. On the plaza, fans can shop in the team's store and see a sign with all the Twins farm teams. Once through the gates, there is a Twins Apple photo op when the All-Star game was at City Field. After walking up the steps, you can immediately see the field, which is a nice touch. Along the concourse, there is concession stands. In the outfield, there is bar seating and a grassy burn. There's also a large bar and covered boardwalk on the third base side. Now let's try the small popcorn for $4.50 available on most concession stands. All right, so we're gonna try the popcorn available currently at every concession stand throughout the stadium. So I'm getting the same vibes I got from the popcorn from the Rays. It's a little overdone. However, it is fresh though. It's not like a few days old like it was at the uh, Rays. So that's good. Um, it's salty and buttery and warm, which is a plus. Um, so top of the pop wise, I would say it is number three underneath the popcorn from uh, JetBlue Park and uh, above the popcorn from Charlotte Sports Park. Did you not offer? If popcorn isn't your thing, Hammond Stadium still has many Midwestern dishes to try. Some items we're going to add to the wheel include the cheese curds from most concession stand locations, the cheesesteak egg rolls from Taste of Twins territory, and the fish tacos from the Lee County favorite stand. Now that we know all the food options, it's time to go ahead and spin the Wheel of Concessions! And it looks like today we will be trying the cheesesteak egg rolls available at the Taste of Twins Territory stand on the third base concourse. For $9.50 you can get three egg rolls filled with steak and cheese. Alright everybody, we are here and we got the uh, Philly cheesesteak egg roll from Taste of Twins Territory, the Taste of Twins Territory on the uh, third base side. Let's go and try it. It's nice and hot and fresh. They freshly fried it at the concession stand. Um, I like that. It was a little flavorless, however. Like the beef is good and the cheese is good. It just needs those either spices or uh, a dipping sauce. I'd also like to see maybe some green peppers and onions in the egg roll to make it better. So I would probably give this two and a half pop points. Um, Overall at Hammond Stadium, I would rate the food quality three pop points as the egg rolls are pretty bad, but the cheese curds were good. For value, the stadium gets four pop points as everything was priced reasonably. For service, the ballpark gets four pop points. And for experience, the ballpark gets four pop points. Add it all up and you get an overall stadium score of 7.5 out of 10, or warm and white. Alright, so I'll hit you with my highlights. My number one highlight is the entrance. It's just a great experience. It feels really welcoming. It truly feels like you're entering a professional baseball stadium.
My second favorite thing is just there's not a bad seat in here. This has a way. There is a seat from the outfield to the bird behind me. Just great seats everywhere. And my final highlight is that the minor league team, the Fort Myer Muddy Muscles, have their uh, mascot out for people to meet with. I just thought that was a nice touch. From the Century Link Sports Complex, I'm Harrison Taylor. Have a wild week. And be sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications so you don't miss next time when we head up to Cool Today Park, the new spring training home of the Atlanta Braves.